It kind of felt like the whole point of this episode was to make me look like an idiot after my last video and prove me wrong as many times as possible, which, to be fair, isn't that difficult, but the fact that this episode was awesome definitely eased that burden, so let's just get right into it. Without a weapon, we instantly see that Genu dumping all his points into strength was the right call, and that doing it my way would not have worked. So he defeats the wolf, Lycan, whatever you want to call it, only for more to arrive, and then he has to go through a flurry of them, seemingly leveling up each time he kills one. And in doing so, we fully dive into game mechanics. He levels up, and by doing so, gains skill points in each attribute, which is insane when you think about it. His intelligence and perception increase each time he kills a monster. The path to becoming absurdly OP has been paved for sure. But outside of that, we see he acquires items and titles from defeating monsters as well, and he can even sell them to some mysterious online shop for some form of currency, which is sure to be expanded on further later. And while Genu is certainly going to become OP at some point, for now, it's really nice to see him struggle to improve. We meet the boss of the dungeon, the blue venom fanged Kasuka, which is a giant snake, and once again, it feels like Genu is completely out of his depth. He spends most of the fight getting his ass kicked, and this also really dives deep into the burden his weaknesses had on him and his family. It's a perfectly understandable motivation that makes his decision to go for all-out strength make even more sense. As we see this, we see the extent of what A1 has put into this show, as the animation is super clean, there's some awesome action shots, and then there's the epic score, which is just elevating every scene to feel so much cooler. By tapping into his newfound physical and mental strength, he's able to overcome and defeat the boss, something he could not have fathomed at the start of this episode. His power has already grown a ton, but he's had to work for all of it, and it looks like this is only the beginning. After clearing the dungeon, he ends up back in the real world and has to help with a gate that's broken. Well, it wasn't the B gate I thought it would be, and there wasn't some big reunion or moment where all these characters meet like I thought they would. So that's three strikes for me. Anyway, only the boss remains, and there's a handful of D and E rank hunters fighting it, but they are making no progress whatsoever. Juhi's there too, but she is too traumatized to do anything. Then with one throw, of a shattered sword, Genu destroys the boss's force field and the hunters are able to take it down. While everybody's celebrating, one guy who actually realized what the hell happened is completely amazed by Genu's strength. Meanwhile, Genu is just walking away thinking, oh yeah, the boss had to have been on its last legs. I really didn't do that much, which is a funny contrast but also makes total sense character-wise. He's so used to being weak, and he's grown so powerful so fast that he can't even grasp how powerful he is yet, and he's seriously underselling what he just did. Hopefully we see more of that going forward. After four episodes, I am even more firmly invested in this show. This was an absolute banger that put most of the focus on Genu's determination to become more powerful, why he wants it so bad, and the result of his efforts. The animation and music music were top tier, and all things combined made the boss fight an absolute joy to watch. There's a lot more for me to be wrong about going forward, so make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you back for episode 5. Then once you've done that, let me know what you thought of episode 4 below.